Who is yeah, this? Hey. Who is this? I know this isn't my friend. Who is that? If uh, Musa, no, yeah. nah, <laughs> who? Nah, it's been this too long. Musa. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. It's been quite a while. Yeah. Welcome back to another video, guys. I am with. If you guys remember Musa from, I think two other videos in the past, maybe even three. It was kind of a while ago, but you know we never stopped talking. And uh, he's my friend, so we're out today. We were gonna go on a boat. Where mm -hmm. where were we going? We were going to Mbuti Island. Right, literally right. If you guys don't know, the beach is right here. And it was right there. You could see it from the shore. But the guy was asking for something, something ridiculous. Yeah, we, didn't, we didn't make a we yeah, didn't we didn't, make a deal. Yeah, so. we didn't have four people with us. Mm -hmm. So understandable, but you know, so now we're just walking around. We're gonna actually look at some properties after this, you know, if everything goes well. Uh, I wish I could have showed you guys the beach, but there's music and and wind, so it's it wouldn't have been a pleasant. Right? Yeah, you want to tell them? Okay, so okay. we we pulled out the camera because a, a little situation happened, and he actually told me that we should, and we we concurred on this, but you know he suggested, and he is a Tanzanian, that we make a video on this because it's a little bit of a a thing we notice. Yeah. This is like, uh, you know, those rude, rude, uh, rude situation where you are walking down the street and somebody's trying to talk to you and you see, I don't want to talk to you. Now today, this is quite different. Like, I didn't expect this. I've never seen something like this. On ever. the bus? On the bus, not everywhere. Like you are talking on the phone and somebody's getting Oh on. yeah. Oh wow. I've this would be a that. nice one. Yeah, Do you think it's for sale? There's a number right there. Protect. No, that's the security. Oh, security. Okay, let's assume they're building it, because it looks like they haven't let it go. I'm I sorry to sorry to interrupt. Yeah. yeah. You tell them, Mark, what oh, happened. Okay. So we're on the bus, and you know we're chilling. We get on the bus. We're talking. We're doing our thing, like normal. And there's an individual on the bus. I I get on a phone call, and so I'm speaking, you know, English, like full English, and. <laughs> You know, I'm on the phone with, it doesn't even matter. I'm on the phone and he's next to me. We're just sitting there on the bus and a guy is standing on the bus. He's standing next to us and he starts repeating parts of my conversation. And I looked up and I'm still on the phone. He was trying to translate. Uh, he, he was trying to translate yeah, my conversation. Yeah, to translate your conversation. <laughs> Which is okay on its own you know it's a little weird and it's a little rude to be in people's conversation but that situation on its own is okay this individual was uh ah ah that's a whole story but i guess we have time look at where we are we need something like that for the community uh, yeah but we're over here and i'm sitting there and i'm on the phone and he's getting louder and louder. He's interrupting my call even. He's tapping me on the shoulder and stuff. So I turn to him and I say something along the lines of, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on the phone right now. You know, I can't really talk to you because I'm literally on the phone having a conversation about, somebody tried to call me, having a conversation about uh, something pretty important too. And so I'm really involved in the conversation. That answer was not good enough for him because he continued. And he got angry. Yeah, he got upset. You get, you get in somebody's conversation. Yeah. And uh, he he's trying to tell you, okay, hey, bro, please be, don't interfere in my business. And uh, Yeah, I was like, because he, yeah, well, I'm going to leave it at you. Yeah, don't, bro, please don't interfere in my business. I'm talking to the phone. And the yeah. guy gets louder. Louder, like almost like trying yeah. to annoy us over the fact that and then he, he i guess you were saying something i didn't know what he was doing i just told him where I he told was him in Swahil, i told him what you're doing is not right you know somebody's talking to the phone and you need to fear it's not it's not it's not something you should be doing yeah and, and he was, was old like, enough oh, to know that guy was yeah, at least 35 he was older. He was older. maybe he was older, older probably 40 something yeah and for him to be trying to childish and there were children next to him and i turned to the children because i was a uh, he and I were talking and the children were getting excited because of English. So in Swahili, I said, eh, eh, eh. And I basically told them, calm so, down and, you know, be a little respectful. I know the reason, and they though. stopped. I know the reason, though. Yeah. Somebody might not know the reason why that man was doing that. See, this is the part where you can try to understand. This man was trying to tell, to show people that he can speak English. On the and bus. And he understood what we were talking. 
And, uh, <laughs> he's trying to show off on the bus. And this happens a lot with Catherine. He wanted to be cool, to be seen mm. at his school because he could speak English. And now the main problem, he didn't do it in a good way. He started interfering in someone's yeah, call. Yeah, trying, trying to overshadow my English. And trying to... Dang. I'm like, I'm not... Ga- I had to N-word. turn and say, he, you know, used the he used the N-word. <laughs> I'm not even using this word. And he turned... And this is an older gentleman. And he turns to me and he's like, it's okay, my, my, my N-word. And I'm like... And I looked at him. I said, please don't use that word on me. You don't know what that means, do you? And he was like, what you mean, my N-word? And I'm like, man... And I'm still on the phone this whole time, missing important snippets of my conversation. All for the sake that this man is literally shaking my arm, trying to get my attention. I said... And I turned to the children and I looked at them. And, you know, I wanted to say what I wanted to say. But because those kids were right there... I didn't want to say it. Even in Swahili, I didn't want to say it. And so, you know, I was, it was very, ooh, we had to jump. It was very, very disturbing to see somebody trying so hard to let everyone on the bus know that they spoke English. And this is something you see here a lot. And I know some people are going to say, you know, I think I make sort of like these videos trying to be real with you guys about some of the issues that you'll run into here. Not so much issues, but the little yeah, daily annoyances like you should not be upset yeah you shouldn't be upset there are some stuff that will make you they're not normal they're you not are new here but people do it I because because yeah. uh, <laughs> we probably don't this. know and as uh and you know it's different like uh they don't that guy did it nobody ever done something like that i've mm. never seen something like that ever in my life like somebody's talking to a phone call and you interfere in their conversation it's not the right thing to do yeah but what I'm trying to say is there are some steps like you're walking down the street and maybe somebody's trying to sell you something or somebody's trying to uh, welcome you to a place. They'd be rude sometimes, touching you, grabbing yeah. your hand and stuff. I've seen them grab women's arms be and they have to literally like shake them off, like firm. don't do it. Yeah, you need to be firm. Mm. If you don't be firm, it's going to be like they will, they will keep up with you. Like yeah. They will follow you. They it's will, a very they pushy follow. way to sell. Yeah. I am Tanzania. It's not the right thing to do. It's not. That's what I'm saying. I'm so happy you said that. It's not because the right he is thing to do. I make these videos like Last this, time, saying look, this person did this, and people day, will defend them. Now let me tell you a certain incident. Yeah. One day I came to here. I came at the beach, and I met this guy where I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to go to the island, mm. and I talked to him. He gave me the information, and I went back. So I was in the bus, and uh, we reached a certain bus station came a certain guy who is very crazy like Ooh. and uh not very crazy he's a little bit you know oh yeah he's a little bit off so he was trying to talk to a lady and lady the lady didn't want to talk to him didn't want to talk to him this guy started grabbing his the lady's hand mm. and i was i just put my hand on the window i was like hey stop doing that and he was like what, what you trying to say man i say what, what are you doing and uh Mm. He got very angry Imagine. because I said some stuff that Because upset you him. told him he shouldn't I, be doing I was, that. I was not rude at him, but I told him he need to he need to be confident. People like that don't have confidence to talk to ladies. So the, the moment they see they see somebody, some nice ladies walking down the streets, and because they can't talk to them, because just because they have something they are holding the hand to sell, they use it as an excuse to grab ladies' hand. How ridiculous. It's not what the a right wimp. thing to do. What a Everybody wimp of a man. Everybody knows. Like, I was born here. I was raised here. I started seeing this when I came to the city. And it wasn't that much popular. But it's, it is getting... It's, more. It is, it is getting more. Like, it's growing day after People day. are becoming day more. Day after day. And, they're, and I think they're trying to copy what they see in movies. So, that guy is a little bit out. He's seeing those people doing those steps. And when I was in the bus... Many ladies were proud. Like they said, "Oh, this shit is going on." I used to be. No, game. you're fine. Oh, because it, it, that's how passionate it is, man. <laughs> they say this shit is. It's been going on for a very long time. Long I'm glad time. somebody just talk, spoke up. I say, on I the told bus. the ladies, once a man grabs your hand, be firm. Be firm. Be firm. Let him know. Nah. And they were like, "Why not the one?" To say? I say, just be firm. Then you see, he's going back off. Imagine having this, and I say this, 
And we're we're saying this to let you know it's exactly as he said. Just because it's Tanzanian, right just just because right it's African, do. does not make it right. Mm -mm. There are people. Mm -mm. I make these videos. People will defend them, saying, "Well, that's just the culture, culture, the and culture, and a person." Rude is rude. He's not getting in someone's conversation on a bus. That's rude. Grabbing a woman who doesn't want to be grabbed. That's rude. That's not culture. That's rude. Do not make excuses for rude people just because you don't want to cause conflict. Because I guarantee you, there will be more people standing on your side if you stand up for what's right. I mean, clear what's clearly right, like that. Again, the I women were seen, joining. I never leave. I worked at the nail shop. You hear me? At the nail shop. I worked at the, at the nail shop. Mm. Um, some guys used to grab ladies' hand, and I was talking to him, and they'd be, they'd be looking at me like, oh, what is this guy? What does he do? Yeah, about? because they I think that a that's the way. lady slap the guy, and I was mm. like, wow, that's very good. That guy did nothing, and what we did, we all laughed at him. And he should be laughed at, because yeah. people have this macho, macho it mentality. It took a month. Mm. It took a month. Uh, for those people to start grabbing hands again. Wow. So assume, uh, just assume, just like uh, every lady was uh, could Slapping be doing that. Them. Like they would you stop. Be and when somebody doesn't doesn't want to listen, you slot the hell out of them. Yeah. And you see, if they get physical with you, you have yeah. a right to slap the mess out of them. I'm lady. That might be a little bit complicated for the ladies that are just coming in because they are new. They cannot slap somebody that they they, they don't know. Or, from the states yeah from the states i'd argue whatever. even the women from right. the states if someone makes yeah, you if, feel uncomfortable and you feel like you have to yeah, defend yourself defend by all yourself. means slap the mess out of him mm -hmm. and let the repercussions come if you acted in self-defense you shouldn't have to worry because nobody should have to force themselves on sad, you in though. any way it makes me sad sounds like a lot of struggle a lot just that one guy on the and that and, and we're not saying all this to say this happens every day this is normal that like he said he'd never seen that situation happen i've seen it a handful of times but it's because some people have this this in dar es salaam a lot of people are they're very envious of people who can speak english okay because and note this we make this this video don't bring your negative comments down there this is not happen ever. It's not happening every day in every place. It just happens sometimes. Yeah. You could come anywhere in the world. Two months, three months, a year. Yeah. And it could have never happened to you. It could happen anywhere in the world. We're saying this because it's important that we as a community, especially since we're trying to build this community, let people know, you know, you might have to run into this situation. Well, so when some, it happens, you places, won't be surprised. Some places are known for that. Like if you go to the bus and you want to get a ticket, it's obvious somebody's going to grab your hand. Yeah. If somebody has been to the bus station, they know that. Oh, yeah. You should see me at the step. You went to the bus station. I don't need your help finding a ticket please walk away because they get pushy with it like you you owe me helping you find a ticket and then charge you more i know where the ticket is i know which one i'm looking for go there and know what you're looking for and stand your ground i do not need your service and walk away it's not to say don't help your brothers it's and sisters out if point, you need their help the main point of this video tanzanians my fellow tanzanians is not the right thing to do you're a man you see somebody grabbing a lady's hand stand up Stand you're up. A woman, somebody grabs your hand, you stand up. Yeah. That's it. But you got a lot of, this is a beautiful house. You Let got a lot of people. Like you. Let me see that. Yeah, it's tell them. Yani nasemaji, nasema hivi. Kama unatembea barabarani, ukamuona mwanamiki, anavutu wa mkono, anakamatu wa mkono. Panya kitu. Kama we mwanamiki, mtu anakushika mkono, usikubali. Kwa ni ujilegeze? You're gonna be famous. Yeah. But you know what? And it, oh, it I I'm feel like be we famous? What, what? because what you're saying? saying is something a lot of people feel. And they what did the woman on the bus after we got off? She looked and she shook her head yeah, like, yeah, you told them. Every time these situations happen, there's always somebody standing around who agrees but doesn't say anything because one, they fear. And two, I'm, I mean, fear, I'm gonna leave yeah, it at yeah, one. I'm fear. That's all it is. English. Just yeah. wanted to show off. Right. Yeah, I'm like, man, if you, I, I wish I would have told them, you know, I'm not trying to compete with you in a language that, no, like, what is that? I'm think, I'm sitting here like looking at this guy, like, what is your problem? What is your deal? And, you know, he tells me, you know, and that's a common thing you'll see here. People want to show off that they either know English or they get envious when they don't. 
because people here know you know i mean uh, that's a topic for another video you know but you hear it from a brother from here and yeah. people will still go and defend this and say that's the culture you shouldn't be you shouldn't be quick to get upset no rude is rude and we have to stand up to rude people because if we don't guess what they have another day of being rude that they weren't checked they'll do it again but if they get checked one day and it takes them a month to repeat it and that process continues they will eventually stop that's how you get rid of rude people but if you ignore it because you're afraid of conflict then you shouldn't one be here and you shouldn't two call yourself somebody that stands up for what's right anyway we had a great day too you need to know about that yeah <laughs> i may sound a little this is just yeah, yeah this is just my my that one was just a little instant yeah know? it could it could upset some people so much it could upset some people so much yeah right? and were we angry you know? no. no we are not we literally walked away and we're like man do what you do over there it's not like again i'm not making this video to say i'm so angry that this happened it's to, it's literally just information that's all we're over it but we still have to let you know there's a lot of stuff we don't let you know because a lot of people are sensitive to this information they say but what about what about truth is truth if you can't handle it do not don't don't open your eyes to the world really so i don't know we're not we're not angry don't see me as angry i get passionate about stuff a lot of things but it, that's all it is passion i wonder what's over here yeah let's go let's yeah go. simple i get passionate guys so i don't know don't take it as anger you want to see me angry you got to do something very very devious something so far off the spectrum of what's right anyway you want to say anything as we close this video i think we have said enough peace peace